kick your scaly tail. Back off, you filthy animal. Fine, hero. The crystal is yours. The two types, light and dark, when combined, form great energies. Be careful with them. And when you die, do be kind enough to give them back. I don't plan on it. Why are you so obsessed with death? Because of that, the day star approaches, and every day it grows brighter. This planet's final trial is coming. Guys looking for a bit of action? The scope shows a group of metalheads moving through the desert not too far from here. I don't like metalheads almost as much as I don't like you. And you've got some proving to do. Intercept those bad boys and give them hell. Who knows? You might even get a few toys for your effort. Why does it sound like you're leaving out the dangerous parts? Jack, I'm getting some nasty juju vibes here. I don't have these whiskers for nothing, you know. Relax. We can handle a few metalheads. Have you ever seen a wasteland metalhead? No. Why? Nothing. Just wondering. Go get him, heroes. <laughs>
and Commander, report. What's happening? If you lost that cargo and you're still alive, I'll kill you myself. I want every dark eco crystal you can find. Time is short. Did you hear me? Wait, not you. I don't like the sound of your voice. Ah, you sure kicked sand in his face. Oh, yeah. That was good. That face looked familiar. Now you're getting paranoid, buddy boy. Come on, Bigfoot, let's get back. This does it gives me the creeps. You must test your fighting skills in the arena. Face down your fears, defeat those who oppose you, and we will see if your skills are of use to us. The purity of the arena is our only guide. Excuse me, um, Mr. Sand King. Yes, I'd like to place a complaint. We've been training hard. My feet are killing me, and I think I'm getting a hangnail. So maybe I'll just sit this one out. Enough talk. The arena awaits.
can't believe you two are still alive. Yeah, what a surprise. Demos and I are very impressed. Hey, Featherbutt, who appointed you king? He did. Well, almost. Kind of a semi-king. You know, you should see our sleeping quarters and his harem of lovebirds. Ooh. I never get any sleep these days. <laughs> it's good to be the king, no? I don't see no crown on that fat feather head. You want a crown? I'll crown you. Don't make me come down there from this perch. I got a perch for you, Birdie, right here. Twirler. That's it. It's go time. Bring it on, bird brain. Enough. If I wanted you to fight, I would have commanded it. You did very well, Jack. You make me proud that our training program is so good. Here is your second battle amulet and a new weapon mod. One more arena win, and you will be a true wastelander. has a job for us, but I'm no babysitter, so stay out of my way. Jack's not afraid of you! Are you, Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid, all right. What's going on here? Nothing, your lordship. Just offering Jack and the little one here some healthy advice. You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. My point is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Jack, I want you and Cleaver to go into the desert and herd a group of lizards into a waiting transport. We must prepare for whatever lies ahead. I need.